I have a question. I've heard that people can have m many soulmates and some that I'm challenge. I'm sorry, many? So soulmates. Whoa. People that challenge us or push our buttons, but I was wondering if there was one idea of a twin flame or someone that you're supposed to spend the rest of your life with. Oh. You know, there is uh, this uh, Patangasana, you know? <laughs> you know Patangasana? When you put the soles of your feet together, Two souls have met their mate <laughs> You must understand this, the body needs a mate. Maybe if your mind is not well developed, your mind needs a mate. If your emotions have not become all-inclusive, your emotions need a mate. At least your goddamn soul should be free from that hankering. <laughs> yes or no? If there is something called a soul, you are referring to something beyond physicality, right? If there is something beyond physical, would it need a soul? Would it, would it need a mate, I'm asking? Mate means a companion. It could be physical, it could be psychological, it could be emotional, it could be work. Workmates. So, mate comes in only when some sense of incompleteness is there. At least this, whatever you are referring to as soul, at least that one thing should be complete, isn't it? If it's complete, it doesn't need. Now, these many soulmates, I don't know where this came from. I thought, the, the term soulmate was coined in high school. When you truly wanted to trap somebody <laughs> and you always feared they will get away, you told them, we are soulmates. <laughs> that means we can't break. But now you're talking about many soulmates, I do… I do not know when this evolution happened <laughs> This is new <laughs> So, somebody is talking new language according to the needs of the day. But uh, if there is something beyond physical, definitely doesn't need a mate, isn't it? Enjoy the Patangasana.